everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. So today I'm simply going to be doing several crafts that I have on my to-do list that I'd like to just bring you along. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back, relax, or better yet, let's craft together. My first craft today is simply taking this really actually very sweet little um, coffee mug that my husband purchased for me and it's it holds just enough for one nice cup of coffee and if you've been around on my channel for a while you know how much I love coffee but I decided that it needed a monogram because it's very plain looking so I just went into the design space monogram maker down there in the bottom left of the you know the design space choices that you have and I created a monogram and so I'm just going to weave this out and put that on the mug and I thought that that would be just fun and um, this is just you know regular vinyl so um, I will not be able to soak this or put it in the dishwasher. Um, just to be on the safe side, I do like to hand wash anything that has vinyl on it instead of infusible ink. So I have my monogram and I'm just going to bring in, um, I'm going to bring in my mug here. I have a huge stack of scrap transfer tape that I actually I'm planning to use today, hopefully, um, be able to use quite a bit of it. But I'm just going to take some plain rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to clean the outside of the, of the cup, make sure that there's no dirt, oil, lint, etc. And okay, so if I place it down right there. So the next thing is to get my transfer tape down on my design. Okay, and I'm going to burnish that really well on the front and really well on the back. Okay, so after transfer tape, burnishing, and now we're going to just remove that carrier sheet. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm not worried about the vinyl with the food safe issue because it has a lid and so I don't drink from the rim, but I do want to center it as best I can, straight as possible. Okay, and I'm going to go down the middle and just out to the sides. Very nice. Even though it has a little bit of a curve, wonderful. Okay, so we're just going to burnish, 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 and then pull up the transfer tape. I do need to be careful. I'm not going to use my weeding tool on the cup. I don't want to scratch it. But there we go. Looks like I have a tiny bubble. Let's see if I can get that tiny bubble to work out. Yep, perfect. Okay, so another monogram cup. I am super excited about that. Love it. Okay, that's it for craft number one and moving on to craft number two. So craft number two is along the same lines as the first one. Um, this is just a uh, drinking cup, kind of Starbucks inspired. It has like a shimmering, um, like opaque color to it. And so I have some holographic um, vinyl and I don't use it very often, but I thought this would be really sweet to put my daughter's monogram and then have the stars going around it. So essentially I just need to weed away all of this large dead space or, and hopefully the little stars stay where they're supposed to stay. Well, there's one already. 
running away. So I will just go slow and I will help them stay down. little round design and next we're going to I'm going to bring in this towel again do this again with the rubbing alcohol that's great and more transfer tape yeah, my projects today are definitely scrap busters um, the last monogram was definitely a scrap buster. This one I did cut off of the roll. And I have others that are definitely, um, you know, I just went through my scrap bin and decided, oh, I have quite a few things I can take care of with these little pieces. So when you're making your projects, um, see if you can go through your scrap bin first and come up with some ideas for the scraps that you have in your vinyl. Let me know down in the comments, like what, what do you do with all of your scraps? I know I've got like a little, um, I've got a little folder that I have my scraps in, but I think I try not to keep too too many and I I also think that I do need to organize them maybe by color family but I spent all of last week I spent all of one day organizing all of my paper scraps that was a feat in and of itself if you've got great ideas for organizing vinyl scraps share them down in the comments that would be fantastic okay so we're going to bring this in and get our B straight I'm just going to work my way from the center again I like this I really I almost want to make one of these holographic ones for my own self Maybe I will find something to put hologram vinyl on. All right, we got that down. Good. Burnish, really good. Okay. There we go. Some of these little stars are very temperamental. Hmm. So speaking of organization, I recently purged and organized my craft space. I have a very small craft space because we live small and it got me to thinking I love looking at other people's crafty spaces. I think it's really fun and interesting to, to see what others are working on and how they organize their space. I'm wondering why this is definitely, okay, so holographic is definitely harder to bring up. So would, I was thinking of making like a short little peek inside my craft space and how I organize things. Um, I know not everybody has a not everybody has a large craft room. And so I was thinking it would be fun to do a organizing the small to no craft space kind of 
video. I think too, like holding the transfer tape flat against itself and then peeling it back slowly is, is helping. This could be the surface too, you know, this, this particular type of surface might not necessarily want to be decorated with vinyl. I think, I think we did change its mind. Oh, that was super sticky transfer tape too. Okay, so maybe the surface, maybe the transfer tape was super sticky. But here we go. That's craft number two. That is just so fun. I love that. I love the shimmer. Okay, let's move on to craft number three. Okay, for my third craft, I got this little box a while back at the Dollar Tree and um, oh, I had gotten two of them and I used one of them for a gift and I decorated it with vinyl and um, this one's just kind of been sitting in my craft space. So I've been actually collecting a pretty big stash of nail colors and yes, I know my nails today don't look that fantastic, but um, I thought that this would be a really fun way to put all of my nail care items together in the polish remover, the, the all of the polishes, cuticle oil, tools, etc. So I have, I actually have a layering um, design to do. So we are going to get several things out here. So a couple of things that we have going on. I have two larger nail polish bottles that I thought would go on the top. And then I have like a row and of nail polish colors and then a really fun little sentiment. So let's go ahead and Start by weeding some of this out. I have really, I used to get my nails done all of the time, and then we moved out of state, and I never really found anybody to fit the bill. So I've just, here recently, I have started to do my own manicures and um, I I enjoy it I, I do it gives me a moment to sit and be still and you know it gets me out of housework too <laughs> uh, so it has been a long time since I have gone to have my nails done professionally. Now I do love pedicures. Pedicures are awesome. But as far as manicures, I just do them myself. Okay. So these, these are the little nail polish bottles. I thought they were so cute. And then then we you can see the tops, right? I already weeded the tops. So what I thought would happen would be, um, I want to keep them all together. But what I thought I would do is fold down fold down the carrier sheet just a little bit and then kind of marry that bottle to that top. Like that. Maybe I'll do it like this. Maybe this is better. And then I can just put this back underneath that part. And then 
I will use my transfer tape to pick all of these up at one time. I have a mint color just like that. I love it. It is one of my favorite colors of nail polish. And then I have a quick dry. This is the quick dry and it it really does dry like in, in seconds. So it's it's a good thing, especially for busy mamas and teachers. So I would say that pink and then a green, probably my favorite colors. There we go. That's coming together. I don't have a purple. I was thinking about possibly getting a purple, but I haven't gotten one yet. And I also, I just started using Olive in June here in the last few months, and I really like it. I've just picked up a couple of their colors, you know, like at Target or Target or Walmart. Um, but I'm very intrigued as to ordering their whole kit. So I may have to do that. Oh, I would love nail polish this color. This would be perfect. Looks like this. Not really a hot pink and it's not really a magenta. I don't know. This I love this color vinyl. It's one of my favorites. Oh. That begs the question. Do you have a favorite color? Do you do you have a favorite brand? Or are you a I'm gonna go get my nails done and have some me time? Either way is totally appropriate. Whatever, whatever makes your happiness. I'm going to put that down there and then I think I'm just going to, I'm going to grab a piece of washi tape and I'm just going to do this just to hold it together while I get the transfer tape on. All right, so we have a row of nail polish bottles. We have Protect the Manny. And then this is hands down one of my most favorite. This is a shimmer. Um, it's a shimmer vinyl from Hobby Lobby. And, <coughs> excuse me, I love it. Like it just is so fun. It is a little hard to see the lines, but it is fun nonetheless. It's so pretty. I mean, I know you can't probably tell the shimmer, but oh, it's just so pretty. And then this one is just a pretty plain pink bottle. Okay. So there we go. So let's find some transfer tape pieces. So then the question I was thinking that these two would go up here. Oh, that has a lot of static. And then I'll be putting the nail polish bottles on the front and protect the mani on the front. I thought that would be really really cute. Okay, I think this will work just fine. This is plenty. I've also started using gloves, you know, like the like the blue or yellow, the rubber gloves like when you clean. Um, it's not really something that I've always done. But now that I'm taking more time to do my nails, the gloves are coming out. Okay, let's, let's see. Oh, you know what? Pause. We need to wipe that surface down. Okay. 
absolutely love rubbing alcohol. It has so many uses. Okay, now back to what we were doing. Pull this back off. And then we're just going to put this right here. There we go. So I have to laugh. My daughter, she, every time I turn around, I'll be like, hey, where's that nail color? And inevitably, it is on her dressing table. There we go. Oh, that looks good. I love it. Okay, do we think this would work for... Oh, I think this will work for my nail polishes, and then I'll probably need to retire this particular sheet of transfer tape. And I actually like, I really do like finding things to do with my scraps. I think it's fun. Definitely challenges you to think outside of the box. Okay. So this one here, look at that, that looks great. I like to have all of my things in containers. I like things to be corralled instead of just kind of out in the open because then I don't feel so overwhelmed. All right, that looks great. Those are all down. This is, look, that is so fun. Okay, I'm so glad I thought of that. Let's go ahead and do the top two really fast. I think that will be plenty. In fact, I have all these grandiose plants this summer for cleaning and purging around the house getting things either you know if we don't use them don't need them don't want them they need to go but I have had a little trouble getting started due to crazy schedule and everybody not feeling well okay so, and I don't care if these are exactly straight. I kind of want them to be a little offset. So, in addition to all of the summer fun, we also have some summer to-dos. Shredding, purging, organizing, all of the things. So this delicate design. Oh, there it goes. And our district is doing a ton of new things next year, so there'll be a lot of changes. And probably would be best not to have a bunch of lingering projects. Okay, so maybe this one be up a little bit more. Okay, and yes, I think this transfer tape piece is probably finished. Oh! Look at this. That's so, and I just love, I love the shimmer. I love all of that. Okay, so this is the end of craft three. Let's move on. For craft number four, this is actually something that I am doing for my classroom, but while I do that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Easy Press Mini on because my one of my projects is iron on but so so we use uno in our math 
classroom quite a bit. High schoolers absolutely love playing Uno. It's like on a on a day where kind of like a I don't want to say a free day, but on a day we get done early and they've finished all their work. It's like okay, who wants to play Uno? And of course they just jump at the chance. Okay, so I bought eight boxes of Uno cards and you know one for each table group and over the course of the year guess what happened they yes they did they got mixed up and it was just uh, it was so I spent the other night I spent probably a good hour and I literally sorted eight, eight Uno um, card decks that were all together in one bag. And so I had these in my classroom and when I was kind of getting rid of stuff at the end of the year, I came up like, oh, maybe I should put my Uno cards in a box. And so each group would have their own box and as long as everything goes back in the box, everything is good. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we're gonna give that a try for this coming school year. So I am just going to read all of these and then we will stick them down onto the boxes. Okay, we have them all done. I am super pleased with how these turned out. I think these will definitely be a great way to keep not only the cards contained, but the, you know, the paper boxes they come in just get torn up with so much use. But I thought this would be super great to keep them organized and, um, and they're cute and they're fun. And then I got to use my Cricut. So, all right, let's go on to, we've got um, three more crafts to go. The next craft is one that is kind of out of necessity. I, um, my sunglasses, my, their, their prescription, and they have, they had a really nice case. And that case finally just, it just kind of fell apart. I really just need something that is sturdy and um, will really protect them. I, and I had this in my craft space when I was looking around at my blinks and my, my vinyl. So I decided that perhaps this would do the job. And so I'm going to put some gold iron on. I have never used gold iron on before. So I'm quite excited to use gold iron on. So I decided to make a pair of sunglasses that I could iron on. This is, I bought, um, this is actually, this is from Walmart actually. I happened to see it and was like, okay, well, and it was on sale. They, you know, they continually are putting their Cricut stuff on sale. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I don't have any gold iron on. And it's, I would not say that it is shimmery, shiny iron on. Like, it, I think it's definitely more matte. It is quite thick, you know, it's, it's substantial. It's not real, it's not real thin. And, um, you know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break on me. There we go. Okay, so I thought that it would be really cool to do this on here. And this actually fits my glasses quite well. And so I thought we would just put this down. 
just like that. And it says, um, the information says 300 for, you know, so many seconds. So I'm going to monitor the project. I think I'm going to unzip this and lay that down. And then we're just going to stick this down on the glass mat and help draw out all of that heat. If this works, I will be a little bit excited. Actually, I'll be a lot excited. And if it doesn't, well, it wasn't very expensive. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, that laid down really nicely. That is nice. This carrier sheet is really thick, by the way. Oh, this is nice. That came out so great. Perfect. Okay, well, that was super fast. And now I have a place for my Ray-Bans. All right, let's move on to our next craft. My next craft is basically my cookie jar. And I don't really keep a lot of cookies in it, but I thought that it somehow or another, and I think it's because, you know, kids and, and all, actually I do have more, more than one cookie jar. But I have one in particular that I nice to have, um, you know, when you when we keep candy and stuff like that in the house. And so I thought it would be fun to put a little design on the front of the cookie jar that says sweet treats and has some candy. So now. This is going to go on the cookie jar. I'm going to grab the cookie jar. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to clean this. Definitely, this has a lot of fingerprints. Actually, I think I'll put that there. I really should get a cradle, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I really should get a cradle. Okay, so now we need transfer tape. This one's gonna call for a pretty big piece. So this is the candy, and I thought the candy could just go underneath the words. I've got that. And then here are our words. Okay, so I do think that I'm going to have to probably stand up for this one. All right, so I think we'll put it about right. Right where the okay, then our candy will go down here. Oh, that looks so fun. Let's see if I can get this to come up. Okay, perfect. Now it looks uniform. All right, this is so cute. I love it. Sweets and treats, you know, and if you had a, like if you were using one of these for like your pets, you could put little pets on the side or, you know, you could have a little collar down here, just kind of whatever. Oh, I love this. I should have done this a long time ago. Okay, we have one last craft. So let's get going with that. Okay, so my last craft is I printed out or cut out some fruit pieces. So I've got strawberries, blueberries, and then I've got um, citrus wedges. And I thought it would be festive this summer just to have a border going around like the bottom 
of the fruits. Definitely something we could remove and put back on something else during another time. Hopefully this idea will work out the way I envision. So, and I just figured we would do strawberries, then blueberries, and then the citrus pieces. The little blueberry stars gotta come out. This would be something fun to do for different holidays for your, um, like, you know, 4th of July, you could do fireworks and stars or something like that. But I just thought it would be fun out by the pool, just taking some lemonade. I'm going to weed this out and then we will get the design put on. On the pitcher it has been weeded and I'm just going to grab some transfer tape we want some long um, strips of transfer tape so the question that I have for myself is what I think that this will almost take care of the whole thing and then I could overlap so I could overlap like that Okay, or I could use one like this and it would overlap. So either way, I have to do some overlapping. So let's start. Yeah, so these strawberries are awesome, but those little strawberry seeds, ooh, they, um, they are definitely something else. In fact, I think I had strawberry seeds everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to use the lines of my glass mat to line everything up. All right, well, that just about did it. We'll just get a tiny little piece here and we'll just overlap that. It'll be like one piece. And then we will burnish everything down really, really well. Okay, I think this is good. So we will get this last deal on. And then we can take a peek at all of the crafts that we have made. All right. I'm going to bring back my towel back in. I definitely think a cradle will be on my next purchase. Not that a towel doesn't work. Okay, that's great. I'll put my cap back on. Okay. Now, hopefully our carrier sheet. Hopefully this carrier sheet will cooperate and come right up. You can see the little strawberries and the blueberries. I thought those were just so cute. Okay, and, oh. okay. I'm gonna do this like I would do an infusible ink mug because that way it'll be even. So, and I'm just going to check. Yep, I think that's all right. This side might be a tad higher. There we go. Okay, let's try this out. 
Yeah, I got still got strawberry seeds. I love her. Okay, those laid down nicely. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like I need to see if there is a little blueberry that got left behind. Okay, so this is super festive, you know, for a party. This would be a great idea for a party. You can use all kinds of themes. So just some summer. That looks so good. Okay, let's take a look at all of the projects that we have done. So we made a sweets and treats candy jar. I still love that. I think that is so cute. I just, I don't know what my favorite would be. And of course our picture, pitcher, not picture, but pitcher. I think that turned out really cute. And then we have our two monogram mugs. And I think those came out really great. And then the Protect the Manny box. I love that. That's so fun. And a um, sunglasses case with the gold foil iron on. And then, of course, the Uno boxes for school. So that'll be, that'll be good. So I would say that my favorite, my favorite out of all of these is probably this one, just because it has a whole lot of different things going on. It's super cute. It'll be something that I use often. All right. Well, I hope that you found this tutorial was informative, inspiring, and um, helpful. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Don't forget to uh, hit that notification bell, the like button, and we'd love to have you as a subscriber if you are not already. But enjoy your summer as it is still unfolding. And until I see you in the next video, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.